Hi, this video is about having another noise apart from your dog's name that can get their attention and get them to look at you. Why would you need this? Because their name can often become a bit meaningless in a household with lots of people, especially kids. Their name's used all of the time, often to mean no, get off there, do that, do this. So we have a noise we only use when we want to get their attention, normally outside, um, when we really want uh, to get them eye contact with them, maybe get away from another dog. Uh, we want to get their attention before they jump up on someone. Uh, and they'll always look at us. Uh, I'm going to show you with Uma. I've got Caleb sitting over here, so I'm going to be giving him treats for just staying there as well. Um, right, important to have your treats somewhere that isn't kind of right here in front of them while you're practicing this. When they get better at it, you will be able to do that. Uh, when you're doing it with a puppy or for first time with a dog, have your treats over to the side of you or the back at the back in a pot behind you or a treat bag because they will be tempted to look at the treats. If they don't look at your face, uh, I'll show you what you can do. Um, okay, so you can, if you've got a family, you can all choose your own little noise. Um, often, we, often people are using a kissing noise. Some people don't find that a bit embarrassing. You might want to just say pop up. Um, you can slap your leg, obviously that can be a bit inconvenient if you've got shopping bags. I do a noise. Yeah, she, she looked at me while I was showing you. So what you're doing is marking the exact moment that she looks at you. Yes. Yes. So marking means telling them they've done the right thing. You're saying yes or good. The moment her eyes move and touch, look up, look at me. If you've got a dog that's not so good at it, they might just move their eyes slightly in your direction of your face. You can mark that and then raise the criteria over time. Yes. They will get better at it over time. If the dog just won't look at you at all. You've got to think about, are there just too many distractions going on? Are you doing it somewhere too noisy, too distracting? Um, then you have to think, do they, do they know that looking at you in general is something you quite like them doing? So if they just won't do it at all, try maybe a little, a little blowing noise. That might get their attention. Don't blow directly at them. Dogs don't really like that, but just a little blow noise might get their attention. That kind of kissing noise normally gets the dog's attention. Yes. <laughs> yes. Why I like the kissing noise as well, personally, is if I've got a group of dogs, so if you've got more than one dog, you can make that noise and they'll all look at you. Whereas if you've got a name, that's not so helpful in a group. Yes, so I, I talk, if, uh, when I was dog walking, I taught all the dogs I walked to do that so I could get all their attention at once. Yes. Thank you.